As we know, atoms contain three subatomic particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. Remember that atoms have the same number of positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons, and because of this are electrically neutral, meaning that they do not have a net charge. When atoms interact with other atoms in chemical reactions, they can gain, lose, or share their electrons in order to become stable. An ion is an atom that has either gained or lost one or more electrons, so it now has an unequal number of protons and electrons and is no longer electrically neutral. The process of gaining or losing electrons is called ionization. Ions are represented by writing their chemical symbols with a positive or negative superscript that represents their charge. If an atom loses one or more electrons, it becomes a positively charged ion. If an atom loses one electron, its charge is now plus one. If it loses two electrons, its charge is now plus two. For example, an atom of sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons. It has an equal number of positive and negative charges, so the atom is electrically neutral. A sodium atom has two electrons in its first electron shell, eight electrons in its second shell, and only one electron in its third and outermost electron shell. This single electron can be lost. So now, after this electron is lost, our sodium atom has 10 electrons. It still has all of its 11 protons in the nucleus. It now has one more positive charge than negative charge, so it is now a sodium ion with the charge of positive 1 and is written as the sodium symbol with the positive superscript. Positively charged ions are called cations. You can remember this term using the phrases plusy cats or I positively hate cats. If an atom gains one or more electrons, it becomes a negatively charged ion. If an atom gains one electron, its charge is now negative one. If it gains two electrons, its charge is now negative two. For example, an atom of chlorine has 17 protons and 17 electrons. It has an equal number of positive and negative charges, so the atom is electrically neutral. A chlorine atom has two electrons in its first electron shell, eight electrons in its second shell, and seven electrons in its third and outermost shell. The third shell can hold up to eight electrons, so the chlorine atom has room for one more electron, which it will accept to become full. So now, after it gains an electron, our chlorine atom has 18 electrons. It still has all 17 of its protons in its nucleus. It now has one more negative charge than positive charge, so it is now a chlorine ion with the charge of negative one and is written as chlorine with the negative superscript. Negatively charged ions are called anions. You can remember this term using the phrase a negative ion. You can also think of the prefix anti, which means against something, you're negative to something. We'll learn more about ions and how they react together to form ionic bonds in an upcoming video.